everyone. Thanks for joining me today on Educational Roots. I wanted to show you today the Skill Sharpener Science Grade 2 by Evan Moore. What are you showing us today? My science book. And what do you like about your science book? Fun activities. Fun activities? What kinds of fun activities are in that book? You shave the carvings of the crayons and then you put them onto rocks. You put one in the sun and one in the shade and then you see what happens. And what happens? Um, the one that's in the sun, it melts. And the one that's in the shade, it just stays the same. Right, and so we were learning about states of matter, weren't we? Very cool, well thank you so much. So what I love about the Skill Sharpeners books is even though there's a specific subject like science for this one, it doesn't only touch on science topics. So in this Skill Sharpeners science book, you're actually touching on, of course, science, but then reading comprehension, vocabulary, writing skills, and visual literacy as well. So it really gives a wonderful education. So in this book, there's 16 informative and engaging science content reading selections and a variety of follow-up activities that include reading graphic information, learning science vocabulary, and making science projects. So let's jump right into the book so you can see what it's like. I absolutely love the Skill Sharpener series and I think you will too. So this one is aligned to next generation science and current science standards. So let me jump right in and show you this book. So this book is broken down into units. We have physical science, life science, space and earth science, earth systems, and science and engineering. And under each unit, we have different concepts like matter, changes in matter, forces in motion, forces at play. Under life science, we have my body, body parts, animal life cycles, plants and habitats. And under space and earth science, we have space, the sun, and weather. Under earth systems, we have geology and water and ice. And under science and engineering, we have science and engineering. And you'll notice that under each topic, we have the concept and the skills that are being used. So that's really handy to look at real quickly to see what concept you're working on. So after that, we jump right into the lesson. So this first one is on matter. This workbook, a child in second grade can do themselves, which is awesome. I love some independent work, especially at the second grade level to start getting them just a little bit used to working independently. So the directions are very clear. Look at the picture, read the word, and write the word in the sentence. And then there's a little bit of reading that explains the concept, which is also listed here. And pictures, of course, the pictures are gorgeous. This is in full color. So just a tiny bit of reading, so just enough for a second grader. Then we have some worksheets here that work on the vocabulary and visual literacy. Again, any skills are listed up here. And then we have a hands-on activity, and this is my daughter's favorite part is the hands-on activities. So it gives what you need, and then what you do, and then what happens. So this is the scientific method here, broken down in an easy to understand way for little second graders. So then we get into the next topic, which is changes in matter. And again, we have a simple worksheet here. We have some reading. We have vocabulary and visual literacy. And we have our hands-on acti activity, which is crayon paperweights for this one. And then at the end, we have a changes chart. Then we go into forces in motion, follows the same pattern. So you'll notice that all of these follow the same pattern. Now we're into magnets, get into the hands-on activity. So each new topic there is a hands-on activity. But you'll notice that it's not broken up by day or lesson or anything like that, so you can choose how you wanna break this up. This is absolutely perfect for unit studies. So let me just flip through more of the book here. You also don't have to do this book in order, so if you wanna jump around for different units, you can totally do that. 
as you can see that the pictures are absolutely beautiful totally engaging also if you notice that each section is a different color so it makes it really easy to know which section you're on you can also view samples on the Evan Moore website and then in the back we have the answer key just in case you need a little help with that now the skill sharpener science is available in grades pre-k through six and there's other skill sharpener series too i've loved every skill sharpeners book that i've used we have critical thinking pre-k to six math pre-k to six science pre-k to six geography pre-k to six reading pre-k to six and spell and write pre-k to six so you can use these as a base for a curriculum or you can add these to another curriculum as a supplement or you can add these as something literally just to do as independent work. However you wanna use them, it's totally flexible. I love the simplicity of the hands-on activities that really reinforce whatever concept they're learning. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely check out the Skill Sharpeners. I will leave a link below for you. And please do let me know if you have any questions.